So carbohydrates, simple sugars or simple carbohydrates. Uh, simple sugars or simple carbohydrates has this formula here. Again, I'm not a big fan of uh, formulae, but um, hopefully you can see that there's just a water there. Um, so carbon plus a water, carbohydrate. Hydrate means water. So hopefully you can remember that there's just an X and a Y there. And we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so uh, monosaccharides just one. Uh, disaccharides are two, polysaccharides are many. Uh, so I've got two videos here. I'm doing the simple first, the monos and the dyes first. Okay, so monosaccharides, they can have two types. You can have an aldehyde group here, uh, or you can have a ketone group here. Another thing to note is they spontaneously um, go from straight chains to rings. You don't need to know um, this. I have, I've left that one in there just because uh, it's a bit of a repeat to get more familiar with the functional group. So there's a carbonyl group here and a hydroxyl group here. It's a, quite of an a interesting way to react. Uh, but they can be five or six membered rings. As you'll see, the monosaccharides are five or six membered uh, cyclical structures. Hayworth, I just mentioned that because um, that is the picture you'll get. They'll stick to this particular form. Uh, and so that's how you can, you'll uh, rely on the fact that it's in this shape. Uh, to know whether you're going to call this one up or down because you need to know the difference between the two. Okay, so uh, back to the uh, reducing sugars. Reducing sugars here, so you can see that the aldehyde sugars can be reduced further to carboxylic acid. So it's, you can get a color change to detect and tell the difference between those two. Okay, so you must, uh, the simplest does say so you must know the difference between alpha, beta, glucose. Um, your your data booklet will have the alpha glucose. So all you need to know is uh, for the beta glucose, it swaps up. And so when you're, um, you just need to remember because it's a Hayworth project, uh, projection that you, you can't just say that the hydroxyl group is up, you need to know which one it is. So just say that the C1 hydroxyl group is facing upwards. Um, and that's also on the same side as the um, C6, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, the C6 hydroxyl group will also be up over here somewhere, obviously, because the, the whole thing's up there. All right, um, so that is a way to describe those two. These two are, are a distance apart, these two are tight, close together, uh, and these two are quite separated. Uh, and so because these two are close together, they're interacting with each other and sort of making them less uh, sticky, less, less effective hydrogen bonds with outside, and they're more reacting with each other. Uh, and so the beta glucose, um, this one here is more free to act somewhere else uh, rather than with each other. And so they're slightly stickier, I'd like to say. Um, so the hydrogen bonding uh, has less uh, steric hindrance is the word we're using. Um, and so therefore they have a, bit, a higher melting boiling point. Disaccharides now. Um, so you need to be able to grab the condensation. So pull out the waters, uh, grab a hydrogen from here or here and a H from here or here basically pull the water out and there's the glycosidic bond and we can do the reverse we can add the water in and uh, destroy the glycosidic bond so your syllabus says you need to know how lactose forms um, and it doesn't seem to look for the, which carbons they are uh, and whether they're D's or L's the D's or L's don't seem to be mentioned so I think we'll just keep this as simple as it seems to be uh, beta glucose and beta galactose um, galactose has the word lactose in it so it's a glucose, um, the betas will have to be learnt, so um, no more help for that one. Uh, sucrose uh, should be slightly easier um, because your text, uh, you have glucose and fructose in your um, data booklet, but um, your data booklet has alpha fructose. Um, and so it's not alpha glucose and alpha fructose, it's alpha glucose and beta fructose, which is... Uh, Slight differences in where the OHs are up and down. Um, not quite sure where the mark schemes will go on that, whether they're aware of that or not. Um, time will tell when you get a question on that. Uh, and the last one is maltose. Maltose potentially is the simplest because you just go to the data book and grab two of the alpha glucoses. Uh, so it's an alpha glucose plus an alpha glucose. All right, uh, forming a glycosidic link. Uh, so far, none of the mark schemes have asked for which carbons they are.